What's going on guys, Sean for going on gamer, welcome back to part 7 of our Metal Gear Solid playthrough. Now in the last episode we got into a boss fight with the Cyborg Ninja which kind of went okay and we also got a note that we have to go and save Meryl who is kind of hiding from the guards. Now you're probably wondering, like between last week and this week I'm going to be doing a lot of Metal Gear. Uh, that's because it is my first playthrough and I do want to get a good chunk of the game done and dusted so for the rest of this week it will just be Metal Gear Solid but next week I do plan to do something a little bit different and hopefully I can start a proper schedule with these playthroughs and hopefully it works out but yeah I hope you're enjoying this one and let me know in the comments below obviously what you guys think of it and yeah that's pretty much it so enjoy the rest of the video okay we need to go to the first floor basement yeah, so back up to that room where we got all the gear before we came down here. The Nikita, I should say. And there's a little funny thing about uh, this particular moment in the game, and that is uh, when you find Meryl, she runs off to the bathroom, and if you manage to get into the bathroom within five seconds of her running in, um, you can actually... The following cutscene after that, she's in her underwear. It's pretty weird... But uh, it's kind of funny, and it's just a classic Kojima thing. I'm going to really quickly fuck out a shaft grenade here to blind these owl um, cameras and make my life just a tad bit easier. There we go. I was going to look in here, see if Anton new spawned in. Yeah, we've got some stuns. More stuns. I'm going to go out here and just uh, let my O2 levels go back up so I can go in and check out the other rooms. Yep. So I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, playthrough so far. It's... um. I know a lot of the game is really only um, cutscene and uh, there's not a lot of gameplay going on. I don't particularly talk an awful lot during the cutscenes either because I want to leave it open so you guys can kind of hear what's going on and try and keep up with the story because hands down Metal Gear does have a very confusing story. That, that saw me, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Metal Gear does have a bit of a confusing story to it. Uh, definitely hard to follow but um, once you kind of pick it up and shit that got me sorry what was I saying um, no I'm, comp I'm completely lost for words now <laughs> no what I meant to say was um, you know once you pick up the story it actually is a really good there is a really good story to it it is going to get a bit confusing in Metal Gear Solid 2 hopefully I do get around to doing that for the channel but the story of Metal Gear Solid 2 is extremely confusing. But I'd say we'd manage it. We'll definitely manage it. And I'm sure, if you don't watch it for the story, you can at least enjoy me play the game. You know? So, yeah, we're heading up here. Uh, now, the problem is, she is in an area where there are a lot of guards. As far as I remember, anyway. So, you kind of have to keep an eye out, avoid the guards, as well as looking after yourself. Dude, right there. Stay away from him. Uh, yeah, so she's going to run into this bathroom down here. The women's bathroom. Which you can't actually go into. But uh, I do believe if I call Campbell on Kodak, he says something weird about this place. Well, it looks like you've rescued Emmerich for the time being. Yeah, with that no, he doesn't. Okay, I'm just going to skip over this whole conversation. Because they pretty much talk about everything they did in the last cutscene. From the last part. Oh, oh Jesus! I, th I thought that guy was gonna walk in and see me. Right, none down here. We can have a look in the rooms while these guys are kind of walking around before we go and find Meryl. Crap! That's actually hard air running out the door. Ah, uh, I'm gonna do the usual cut thing when I get caught by guards. Sorry. Right, so after that uh, little hiccup there, 
Uh, I am going to find Meryl this time for real. Hopefully I'm not seen. Hopefully. Can't guarantee it. Because I know I probably will be seen. As much as I love stealth games, stealth ain't my uh, forte. That's actually her there, yeah. I'm going to follow her now really quick. Oh, can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Oh, God! Open the door! Come on, 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 come on. We can do it, 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 we can do it. Don't move. Alright, come on. Let's see if we did it. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary song. Yes! There we go, we did it in five seconds. You're Meryl. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. But that's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. It's the only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. And what's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. 
Is that bomb as functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Damn. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. All right, so now most of the oh, That's sorry. strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? That music snakes actually referring to. I believe he's talking about the actual game soundtrack. But now that there's no guards and we have a level 5 key card, we may as well go in and restock on some stuff in here. Like the cardboard box B. Yo. Uh, can't get in there because it's level 6. Can get in here. It's level 5. Ooh. FM mass bullets. Yeah. Night vision goggles. They'll actually they'll come in really handy. And some uh, diazepam. Yeah, I think I pronounced that right. We will need the diazepam uh, soon. Yeah. And there's a good reason for it. We have, like, feck all rations. I'm going to have a really quick look around for some rations here before I move on. One. Eh. Better than none, I suppose. We're pretty much stocked up on Nikita missiles, so we don't need them. And the stun grenades might have respawned. Nope. Whoops. All right, then. Head back up here. And, uh... You can always... Snake, what are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. I want to check in here. I can't check in here. All right. Let's go commander's room. What's going on? Uh, yeah, good scene. All right. My head. Oh, it oh yeah. Hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. Are you okay? What happened? I'm fine. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Alright, so I'm going to end this video here because beyond that door is a boss fight. Probably one of the most memorable boss fights from the entire Metal Gear franchise. It is with Psycho Mantis and... It's most remembered because he fucks with, like, all this different crap, and, oh, it's it's incredible. So I'm going to just leave it until the next part. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to click that like button and leave a comment with your thoughts. And don't forget to share this video with your friends so they can see it and they can love it exactly like you did. And, of course, if you're new to the channel, I want to give you today with all our new and upcoming videos exactly like this and more. Then be sure to click that subscribe button on the screen right there. Social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, all that in the description below. Go check them out if you want. If you don't, I don't really mind. But until the next time, guys, remember, for all your news reviews, playthroughs, and previews, stick with going all gamer.